I hate pranks. Mostly because it feels like people don't know what a prank is anymore. Every April Fool's, it feels like people think a prank is just you lie to someone, and when they believe you, you laugh in their face. And it's never even that crazy of a lie. It's always something believable, like, do you guys know that we're cousins? Oh, wow, I had no idea you guys were related. Ha! Idiot! I got you! April Fool's! What? I, what? That's not a prank. That's not a prank. I trusted you. I believed you because you're my friend, and I trusted you. And you laugh at me? How dare you? Even though I don't like them, I feel like I've come up with the greatest prank idea possible. Here's what you do. You bake a cake and you fill it with laxatives. Now, hold on. First off, sometimes I tell this and people don't know what laxatives are, which like, man, good for you. What a great life you must live. But laxative is when you can't go to the bathroom, you're stopped and you take laxatives and then everything falls out of your body. Anything that has ever, been, if you swallowed a Lego when you were five years old, that shows up again. That is not the end of the prank either. That's not a prank. Ha ha, you pooped. I was gonna do that anyways, thanks. Bake a cake, you fill it with laxatives, then you invite somebody over to your house. It has to be your house because you have to have control over the environment. So you invite somebody over and then you offer them a piece of cake. And they have to have a few pieces cut out already. You can't like give them a fresh cake and be like, here, try. They're gonna be on to you. You offer them a piece, you're like, hey, we got some leftover cake, you wanna try a piece of cake? They're like, yeah, sure, I'll try a piece of cake. 10 to 15 minutes later, they will have an emergency a Bruin. And they're gonna be like, oh man, I have to go to the bathroom so bad, where is your bathroom? And you're like, oh, we only have one available, it's down the hall and to the right. And they're gonna rush to the bathroom, they have to go so bad, they're gonna get in there and they're gonna be at that point where, I don't know if you've ever been at this point, where you have to go so bad and your brain sees that you're in the same room as a toilet. So your brain is like, it's showtime. And you're like, I'm not ready yet. That, they're at that point. And that's when they lift the lid of the toilet seat up and they see that you have filled the toilet bowl with live goldfish. Because now they have a moral dilemma on their hands and they must ask themselves, what am I to do? Am I about to ruin my pants? Or am I about to kill a bunch of goldfish? And that's how you find out what kind of people your friends are. Cause some of them are gonna be like, I don't even like fish. Burp. Some of them, some of them are gonna be like, Nemo! Sometimes I tell that and people are like, what if there's a bathtub? And I'm like, you're disgusting, but also resourceful. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, April Fools. It's April Fools.